If you're new to fiber cable, I hope I at least shed a little bit of light on the different types of fiber cables that are out there on the market. These seem to be the most popular out there. Now, don't hesitate to also check out our YouTube channel and to subscribe to that for other videos on fiber, security cameras, copper, pretty much anything low voltage networking. Now, let's check out our next fiber, the circular premise fiber optic cable. Now, I know I titled this video circular premise cable, but that you know, this type of construction is nothing more than just a bundled fiber optic cable. AFL calls it their circular premise cable. Now, this is a corning fiber. They call it their unitized type buffer cable. So, definitely the name of this type of construction might be different from brand to brand, but it's nothing more than a bundled fiber optic cable. Okay, now this cable is definitely most common for multi-floor deployment. Now you can select certain fibers and select which ones you want to use at certain floors. Got your rip cord right there. Now this is also very commonly used and installed in intra-building backbones. Okay, in this fiber you can find this from an 18 up to 144 strand. Now this cable is most common for indoor only applications and I do want you guys to take a look at the central member right there. Now what you'll find is these cables, it's an indoor tight buffered construction cable. Now these jackets, they can be either 6 or 12 strand per jacket. We have a 48 strand so we have each individual jacketed cable with six strands of fiber in each one of them. So you can go ahead and use the six you need at a certain location, keep it moving. So there it is, your bundled fiber or your unitized fiber or your circular premise fiber. I mean, for me, it's just bundled fiber, but it is available in an OM3, the 50 micron, the single mode, the 62.5. This is definitely commonly installed for indoor applications. So no matter what cable type you have, we should have a solution for you. Uh, if you want to know how to terminate this stuff yourself, check out the YouTube channel once again. There is quite, uh, it's pretty expensive for the tooling to terminate your own fiber. If you only do it once a year, you might also want to check out our pre-terminated fiber optic solution for your application. And uh, once again, thanks. Don't hesitate to comment below. Bye-bye.